I'm Mehdi and in this video I want to show you how to do the pre-experiment for the GCMs. Uh, the sample needed for this experiment is 20 ppm of BTX which means benzene, toluene and xylens. Uh, I prepared the sample before and put in, put in a GC vial. Now I want to show you how to fix the cap using a printer using this instrument and then by pressing I fix the cap to the GC wire uh, the GC wire should be almost full to make sure that we have enough sample uh, and the syringe can check the sample easily now I put the sample into the sample uh, holder if you look at here we have different numbers now I put my sample in position 1 we have positions from 1 to 25 here, so the first one is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth. And then, before injection, we should make sure that we are in the AOC power of off. If you look at here, it is now off. Uh, if you are not in the AOC parameters by pressing the options, we go to the AC parameters and then here we go to AC power and then we turn it off, finally we press enter. Then I should put the syringe, I should install it. So this is the GC syringe. And this is the syringe holder. By sliding very smoothly, I put the GC syringe into the GC holder, uh, into the syringe holder. And then I first insert the tip of GC syringe to this hole here. Let me show you this hole exactly here and then by keeping the instrument then I should insert the plunger holder to the top of GC syringe and then by changing the position of this belt I move it down and then insert the plunger holder to the position it should be when it is in the lowest position I tighten the knot and to make sure that we have fixed the plunger holder I check it by changing the position of this belt again as you can see here the syringe can work so now we make sure that the auto sampler can work properly then we close the instrument. The instrument is an echo mode, so first of all we should cancel the echo mode. Now we can use the instrument. First we go to the sample login. We choose a name for the sample name. For example, I use BTX and then the sample ID is 1. Then we choose a uh, way for the data saving. For example, I use T drive data 144265. Uh, we are in group section 3, group 1. So uh, I choose a file name like ATX. And then uh, the most important part is tuning file. We press it and then modify by date. 
And finally, we choose the most recent one, which is 14-6-2016. And then we open it. Finally, we press open. The next step, we go to data acquisition. Uh, important parameters are oven temperature, which is 60 degrees C for this instrument, for this experiment, and then the injection temperature of 200 degrees C, and then the injection mode is split. Uh, these parameters are important, but if we choose the column flow rate as one milliliter per minute, the other parameters will change to fix the column flow rate. Then we go to MS parameters. Uh, 250 degrees are se selected for MS parameters. And now uh, the most important part is solvent cut time. Because the concentration of uh, solvent is very high, if we don't use the solvent cut time appropriately, the solvent will be detected in the uh, mass spectrometer and then the MS will be saturated. So uh, the time that the solvent is going out of the column is below 1.7 minutes in this parameter. So I select 1.7 to make sure that uh, no solvent is detected in the, sem uh, in the MS to prevent saturation. Now the method is ready to be saved, so we save the method uh, in the case that we want to use the same method for the next sessions, we have it. Before downloading the method, we should make sure that the AC power is on. And then, we save the method. Here we go to file and then save method as. We choose a direction here. And then I choose a name for our method and save it. Now I press download. After we press download, the instrument will be ready to do the data analysis. We should wait for some moments and then the instrument will automatically start taking sample. As you can see, it automatically takes the sample from while position number one and then inserts the instrument. Before taking the sample, the instrument automatically washes the syringe for I think three or we can adjust it to more times but at least we should wash the syringe for three times with the solvent as you can see here the syringe is being washed with solvent and then it takes a sample for several times to make sure that we have pure sample and now the sample is injected to the column now the PC results are ready to analyzed as you can see here the GC results have some baseline which are detected as uh, peaks so first of all we have to remove these peaks because they are just noise uh, we, we right click and then choose peak integrate and then select auto height 
WordPress, okay? So as you can see, the baseline is removed. So we have just data for the base pics. We have benzene to Luen and uh, three pics for three different uh, isomers of xylans, orthoxylan, metaxylan, and parazylan. Uh, if we choose any pick here by adding a pick, for example, this one, and then removing the baseline, we can see the results of MS for this pick. If we go to similarity search, we can see the proposed material with uh, such a uh, mass to charge ratios. Let's try another pick, for example. Now I choose this pick and remove the baseline. And we go to similarity search. You can see that this pick is benzene. Now let's pick, uh, select the second pick. Again, remove the baseline. We go to the similarity search. It is to the And finally, these are Zylans. Thank you for watching this video.